Hey, Adam Colbertson here. Before we begin, we got a promo from another independent podcast, so when you finish this episode, make sure you go and check them out. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Monster Hour, an actual play podcast about going to school, arguing with your parents, and ruining your favorite outfit while hunting horrible monsters. Narrative-driven and crisply edited with painfully relatable characters. Monster Hour follows unlikely heroes JR. Super suspicious. That's sort of my deal. Constance. I may be a bit of a know-it-all, but I might actually know it all. And Alvin. I'm monstrous. As they unravel the sinister mysteries of a strange Colorado town. If you're a fan of Stranger Things, Buffy, or the Adventure Zone Amnesty, you'll love Monster Hour. Tune in for new episodes every other Tuesday, wherever you get your podcasts. Steal your mind, for eldritch horrors of the universe unknown. For what is to follow is a tale of intrigue, mystery, and madness. You're listening to Microphones and Monsters. So all of you are outside of the building now. Mm-hmm. And, and I'm back on the ground. Yeah, yes, you're back on absolutely. the ground. I'm going to be looking still back within the minute in of the that building thing. to try and see if I can see mm-hmm. the thing. No, uh, you just see the, the building just fire, just flaming from everywhere and, and the pillars collapsing. And yeah. I don't entirely trust it's it. Just I'm going to back apart. away from it and still try and keep an eye for that thing if I see it again. All right. All right. And it would still have slow on it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's still got yeah. some cool. rounds left. So, y'all are all out now. Still watching, just watching the, the building burn down. You notice that that creature starts coming out of the the roof of the building, and you, you see it in its in its full form, and then... All of a sudden, it just starts to to fade, and you don't see it anymore. Oh, God is coming back for us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Alistair's turn. <laughs> <laughs> but you're out of you're out of combat now. <laughs> Oof, yay. Little does it know that I have a surprise if it hits me. <laughs> <laughs> I had a surprise when it. Me too. It's I just go limp and die. <laughs> <laughs> you did Gosh. not die. You played Surprise! possum. Mm-hmm. Yep. A, a, a monument yeah. to my actual accomplishments. So uh, at, at this point, I'll, I'll you know I would have already probably set Julian down. You know, so he's mm-hmm. either standing or sitting, however he feels like it. Yeah. How <laughs> do I do what he wants? It, uh, I'll, I will guess I'll, I'll cast another uh, healing spell on myself to see if I can get myself back in order. Okay. Um, See if he can reflate, reinflate a bit. Re- yeah, re- <laughs> you know, get get more juice back into me. He um, only puts his thumb in his mouth and blows real hard. <laughs> 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 uh, okay. Oh, I'm on okay, a different one. Uh, what have I got left? I got. Oh no, I already used one first level, and then. Do you have a second level create blood spell? I do not have a create blood <laughs> spell. Okay. Uh, all right, uh, I'll do another cure wounds, but I'll do it at first level on myself. Okay, and that is a very low roll, uh, but it'll still be um, ten. All right, so I am back to thirty-two. Yeah, that gets you up. 
um, and looking hopefully better. You're not as shriveled up anymore. Um, I'd say you can you can walk your full speed now, but mm-hmm. you won't like you still you feel really weak still. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Skylar's ushering everyone into the vehicle and is trying to drive as far away from that building as possible. <laughs> yeah, it's is there a bunch of yeah. people like showing up to the building? Yeah, yeah I mean, there are. We really don't <laughs> want to be here when the cops show up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, yes, Julian yeah. did it. No, not that Julian. The other Julian. <laughs> <laughs> Your Julian, not our imposter Julian. Uh-huh. <laughs> so y'all are able to get away before any authorities arrive. But if anybody is looking back at the building and, and its surroundings. Yeah, like Victor probably would have been watching the skies uh, uh, since we saw the thing disappear. Since we saw it appear, it might reappear. So Victor mm-hmm. sort of keeping watch uh, because every time he tries to look and show concern for Julian, he gets a nasty look. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So if if you're, if you're looking back, uh, Victor, uh, you, you see uh, authorities arrive and you see a bunch of Nori start like casting spells and, and just completely drench the entire building in water. Oh, well, that's nice. It's great Nori for fi- electronics. Nori firefighters. <laughs> mm-hmm. Nori fire. Yeah, that has to be like a very like low uh, uh, skill set in this area. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not that, much need. That being said, I will laugh to myself and say, against all odds, I burnt down a building in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there is no building that I cannot. I mean, burn it wasn't down. you; it was you. Well, but that's the more counts, capable, right? Julian. Oh. I said Julian. I didn't say which one. <laughs> <laughs> Let it be known that Julian Cottage has burned down an underwater building. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. So, where are y'all heading to? The hotel. Okay. Yeah, I think that's yeah, please. probably for the best. I I I would like to eat something and to set a spell as it were. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you you arrive back you pull up in front of the hotel in the car. There seems to be panic. Everybody's talking about the fire at the museum. Yeah, yeah, crazy um, that. And uh, somebody comes up to Julian actually. Yeah. He's like, "Hey, did you hear about the?" I was just like, "I was like, I need to cast a spell so they don't recognize me." Fuck! <laughs> did you hear about the fire at your museum? <laughs> um, uh, no, I I did it. Sorry, I am um, I, I'm uh, something must have come over me recently. I I don't I don't feel very well right now. Um, it was was anyone hurt? No, it doesn't seem like anybody was hurt. They didn't find anybody there, so it must have just been an electrical fire or something. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm glad uh, no, no one was hurt. Uh, uh, st- um, stuff can, you know, uh, it, it is a, it is a shame th- uh, for all of the prototypes and and things like that. And I had some some personal things I was working on there as well. But uh, all things that eventually can be replaced. I just, uh, yeah. It's sorry. I'm 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 very weak. I don't know what came over me. Must have been a uh, something with with me uh, coming through and and the ch- the change in pressure. Um, I don't know. I've I've done this a few times. I don't know why this time is different. But I'm I'm feeling very weak. I would like to um, retire to my room. Yes, don't mind him. He just feels drained. <laughs> well, maybe maybe you need some food. And and they point over to. A uh, craft services like table. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the continental breakfast. No, it's. Okay. A, I mean, you're still outside right now. Yeah. Um, uh, but they point over to a, like a little. It's not a restaurant. It's just like a like a like a stand. Um, where they're they're serving food. Okay. Um, and they're selling food. Victor. Would you be so kind as to as to grab some things and bring it up to the room, please? I I, I really need to just go up there and, and lay down for a second. 
No, absolutely. I, I got you covered, Julian. Uh, I thank imagine you. they have fish. That would be wonderful. You you can you can go as well, Alistair. Well, I was just meaning if Victor's uh, picking pick the, uh, picking things up, I would prefer fish. Go then. You know what? You should probably go and 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 check out all of the the the, the fishy things there. I, I I think I'll be able to make my way up to the room by myself. Okay. Robot, could you escort Mr. <laughs> Cottage up to his room? <laughs> Absolutely. Right this way, Master Julian. <laughs> they don't know it's a possessed robot. Exactly. They don't know. No, that's pretty mm-hmm. smart. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I just yes. thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I will have I will I will have my 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 mechanical servant bring me up to the room. Yep. <laughs> That is a thing that happens. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Vic, Victor, I, I guess, and Alistair, if he wants to come, are going to walk over to the uh, to the food stand and see, uh, you know, get a couple things for Julian uh, and Alistair. Yes, I suppose you wouldn't um, know what if, tastes good in fish. <laughs> well, I don't know if there are fish. There weren't fish outside. Um, That's true. Uh, <laughs> there was nothing in the ocean. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so uh, we'll go over there, and you can pick out what you need, and and uh, I'll I'll pick out some stuff for Julian. Um, you know, uh, you know, I'll, I'll. I guess Victor will reluctantly ask us. Uh, Did do you have any anything that a uh, crypt folk can eat, Mister Stand? Mister Stand. <laughs> 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 is, 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 is it manned or is it a robot? Is it a vending machine? I just I, imagine it's... like you're talking to like a oh. cardboard cutout of somebody, and the dude's just standing there looking at you like, "What the fuck's wrong with this guy?" It, it's not. It's not. He said it's outside. I don't know. It said it's a food stand. There might be someone manned. No, there's, there's, like, there's, there's a nori. There's a nori. Mister Stand was my father. Please call me food. Please call me food. <laughs> 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 um no there's there's a nori there and uh he's serving up some some fried calamari ooh from the stand but Alistair you actually you sniff out um some fresh fish and not too far away there's there's just like a like a little uh fresh fish kind of market ooh I'm I think I'll go this way all right, don't don't go too far. Split um, the party. And did the Nori have any any dead people on hand? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm I'm afraid that I don't have any. Um, surface folk. <laughs> Can I eat Nori? <laughs> well, there's no nori uh being served at this stand okay just make sure that, that's okay i i appreciate it no I, I guess i'll pay him for the calamari it's okay if you could just know what... chop off a finger <laughs> <laughs> yeah how much did calamari cost i'll use my little okay can i use my debit card i <laughs> Does that exist here, or do I have to use my bag? Uh, you can you okay. can pull money out of the bag. Okay, so so I'll just ask him how much it is, and you know, and how much do I you owe you for the the calamari? Twenty five silver. <laughs> all right, and I'll reach into my bag and pull out twenty five silver, all magic like. Yeah, and, and you're to him. You you still have access to that money, yes. Yep. So interdimensional money, perfect. <laughs> I will, I will uh, hand him twenty five silver uh, for the calamari, and you know, say thank you very much. You have a good day. You also and, notice that the money that you pull out uh, doesn't look like any money that you've ever seen before, and it's uh it's almost like a, a seashell shaped um, hmm. kind of money. So. That's yeah. fun. Just think of the havoc we could yeah. wreak on the that's economy. What, that's what the three <laughs> seashells are for. Yeah. <laughs> and Alistair, you you find uh, you find a uh, some guy cutting up a, guy. a big old tuna. <laughs> and another <laughs> nori. 
<laughs> I say, that smells wonderful. I don't suppose you'd be able to understand me, would you? He just looks at you, but doesn't say anything. He's just He just be- keeps cutting. Be- it begins sharpening a knife. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I thought as much. Um, so I'm going to uh, use uh, press the digitation. Okay. To, to kind of like draw on the the street there, like to where you okay. can see it, and and kind of just draw a crude picture of a, a fish. Oh, would you like some fish? <laughs> 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 Well, yes, I very much would. Oh, you got any money, cat? Yes. Uh, how much would you need? I'm going to guess you asked me how much it's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> that ne- this never gets old. It really old. doesn't. <laughs> uh, I'll, say, I'll sell you this whole fish. I'll cut it up for you and everything for a gold. Hmm, for one gold, you say? I think that's yeah. a. Well, I don't know what shit. <laughs> <laughs> it seems it's it's blue it's bluefin tuna, so it's definitely. That worth seems it. a very reasonable price. So, um, I'll go ahead and uh, reach into my my pouch with mage hand, and uh, and okay. pull out a gold. All right, and you you notice the same thing. It's like a like a gold seashell. Hmm. Funny that. All right, well here you go, and I'll just float it on up to him. Okay. He he grabs it and and uh he finishes uh cutting it up into different different portion types and he gets it all together, wraps it up and and uh you have any way to carry this, Kate? I mean it's it's not more than ten pounds of tuna, is it? Uh, <laughs> Tunas can get real Yeah, epic. it's 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 a yeah. it's a lot. It's a lot of fish. You bought a gold's worth of fish. Um yeah, it's it, a lot. It was, it was an old 10.5 pound. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta eat, you gotta eat half a pound before you can pick it up. Um, and carry the rest I'll, of I'll it. kind of like, um, hmm. So, so if we're talking regular bluefin tuna, the average weight of a Atlantic, like a adult Atlantic bluefin tuna, is basically around 500 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> if we're talking bluefin tuna. Okay, well, it's not going to be and that you would big. Also, and you would oh. also have to take out like the skeleton and stuff like that because he's not also it, true. Yeah. yeah, he's not like actually giving me and, the whole thing. Like he cut it up and the, and yeah, and he just gave him I mean, just the meat cut up. Yeah, I mean, how far away is Victor? Well, uh, you, you noticed that like, Alistair ran yeah. away. I'll, I'll kind of and and you you okay. can see him. Okay, and so I see. I I imagine Alistair would 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 yell at Victor to carry his food for him. If he couldn't carry like, it, do I, that's do what I, I imagine. That it be would like, fit order him within around. My, my little backpack. It'd be, It'd too, be much. too much for my backpack. Like it's bigger than you. Yeah, it's it's a pretty big package. <laughs> 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 Boy, today has just been. <laughs> it's just so many innuendos. Yeah, the end of my intent, though. You guys, um, Victor, uh, Victor, over here. Yeah, yeah, Alistair, what 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 you need? Um, no, oh, just. And I, and I tried over. <laughs> okay. I just need a hand. If, if you could, um, please just uh, take this package for me. Oh, yeah, sure. No problem. And I'll, and I'll, I'll take the package and, and be able to carry it easily. And you, like, sniff it, and, and it's, uh, like, it, it just smells terrible <laughs> to you because it's not humanoid yeah. flesh. Plus it's fish. R- rancid, yeah. bad fish. <laughs> But it's, it's like amazing fish. Nice fish. <laughs> it is probably the fle- the the freshest fish you could it's ever like get. It smells so rancid. This must be delicious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's that's what you get from it. Yeah, yeah. Now this this is some nice fish, Alistair. Well, mm-hmm. yes, it did look very good as he was carving it up. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you, Mister Fishman. <laughs> oh yeah, no problem. If you ever need any more fish, you can come on down to to. Jefferson's Fish Market. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I'll tell you, he finally got a piece of the pie. (laughs) (laughs) You beat me to it. (laughs) Oh, that is a dated reference. (laughs) So dated, it predates me. 
Oh, man. Yeah. Oh. So, we sure will, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you. Oh, oh I'm not Mr. <laughs> Jefferson. I just work for him. <laughs> <laughs> have, I, have I made it up to the room yet? <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, I was about to cut over to yeah, yeah to Julie and, okay. and Dietrich since since they're they're heading out of the market and everything. So y'all, so Julian and Skyler get up to the penthouse suite. Okay, I'm gonna uh, open open kind of like walk through the door, and then just kind of go, ah, and then just kind of like faint and just fall down flat. Like just face plant <laughs> right on the floor. Skylar's gonna try okay. to catch him from falling all the way. <laughs> the all insanity right. came back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you're you're able to catch him, I guess. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, couch, please. please yeah, carry yeah, me to the sure. Couch. Yeah, and so I I drag Julian over to the couch, and gingerly <laughs> set him down. <laughs> Oh, thank you, uh, Skylar. Uh, I've had some rough days, but um, yeah, having almost half of my blood sucked out of my body at a rapid pace like that, it uh, oh, it really puts things into perspective, you know. And then you had the, I, I bet. Uh, a museum that was dedicated to the fake version of you's hopes and dreams and accomplishments and then immediately fake. burns down to the ground and then it's kind of poetic yeah sure yeah p- poetic yeah that's fine i mean it's more normally just the kind of the mo of you know 40% of the buildings i usually end up going into i usually come out and then they also burn to the ground um that's so. good to know that's a detail yeah. i probably should have learned sooner <laughs> oh yeah, yeah i mean hey we've just been rolling great so far St- so start um, slowly hey, edging hotel. out of the hotel <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I haven't i haven't i haven't been inside of a building that was on fire and burned down yet so as long as i'm here uh judging by the averages you're fine ah okay um, just, just try not to destroy this, this automaton robot thing. I kind of like it. It's fun. Uh, that's, yeah, no, it, it's, you're, you're definitely, uh, you're, you're definitely getting used to it. It, it looks like, um, is that something you want to kind of want to stay in or, or, or do you want to kind of use your own form again? Well, I like being in able to interact with the environment around me and then Skylar steps out of the robot and now Skylar uh Julian can see Skylar um still kind of translucent ghost-like but Skylar's form doesn't look like their original form they look like an exact copy of the robot okay that's yeah. Different. <laughs> How long does that Wait, last? Wait, you can or is that you can you can see me? And then uh, and then it like it like stutters out and then um Skylar turns back to their original form and uh Julian can't see them anymore. And they're like, nope, Whoa. that's um that's um yeah, no, uh yeah, that, that looks right. I think that was um That was that that was the lack of blood. Uh, I, yeah, I don't think um, I don't think I'm going to be conscious and and then it just pff, literally just knock out as soon as I say that. <laughs> Skylar goes back into the robot and like gets adjusted to it again and is gonna kind of pitter patter around the uh, flat apartment hotel floor whatever it is that yeah, we're in. The suite. And thank Penthouse. you. That's the word I was looking for. So Skylar's gonna. Pitter patter around the suite, um, seeing if they can find any items that might help Julian recover. Um, just laying about, maybe some tra- blood transfusion packs that just happen to be lying around. <laughs> Who knows? Um, <laughs> so you actually you check the uh, refrigerator, fried and potato there's... wedges and alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Checks out. Well, yeah, Checks you got, out. You got all the ingredients for for potato wedges and. In the cabinets and, and everything, 
you do find medical some medical supplies inside of the refrigerator that needed to be kept cool. And um yeah, uh you definitely find stuff that would help Julian. Okay. So um Scout is gonna dig around and research how to use this stuff before using any of it. Um okay. and then is going to attempt to help Julian be a little less weak. The like there is blood packs and it, it says Julian on the yeah. blood packs. Perfect. I'm such an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of after expecting to get back and like Victor just be like, what are you doing? That was the sauce I was making. <laughs> <laughs> My bolognese. <laughs> but yeah, that's what Skylar spends their time doing. All right. So yeah, you're able to successfully you know, with, with plenty of time, like you'd be able to successfully be able to, to help fix Julian. Yeah, awesome. Just, you know, hook up the hook up the plasma, you know, tap that vein, make sure you get that, poke it right in there and you know, just keep it elevated and you know, pop the bag once or twice and it should be fine. You can kind of tell that that uh the other Julian had been had stored medical supplies here for other for multiple different types of occasions of of things going wrong. It's good to be prepared. It'd be, it'd be great if I had like a in case Julian is suffering from blank do blank like <laughs> like, like sticky note on the fridge. Yeah, and then or like Alistair a binder. and yes, <laughs> and Alistair and Victor, you come up and and Skylar is tending to Julian, and Julian's passed out on the couch. Cool. Hi, welcome back. Uh, thanks. We I got some. Uh, Calamari for Julian, but it looks like he's he's sleeping. Yeah, he's he passed right out. I'm um, trying to get his uh, blood volume back up. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll be in the kitchen. Um, I think I might be able to help wake him up. And so uh, Victor's gonna go in the kitchen and start making potato wedges. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you said the ingredients were there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So you happen to check in the freezer, and there is a frozen head in the freezer. <laughs> okay. can, can I tell whose head it is? Do I recognize no. this head? You, you don't recognize the head, but it's it's definitely uh, a human a human head. A human head. But it looks like fridge. it was packaged like it's packaged and in, in like sealed, so it doesn't get frostburned. <laughs> oh, well, seeing that Victor will assume. Uh, that based on the messaging, um, that it's for him, because uh, because alternate Julian said that he stocked the kitchen for Victor, and so um, while the potato wedges are frying, he'll he'll you know pull that out and start preparing, do something with the head. He'll he'll probably you know you know find some like breadcrumbs and stuff like that and stuff it and throw it oh in God. The oven for. <laughs> 400 degrees I don't for think about that's... 25, 35 minutes. Uh. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, oh, no. After, and, and, and after prepping it, uh, obviously, uh, the, the potato edges will be will be done. Like, it'll shake the oil off of them, you know, throw some salt and stuff on them, you know, make them, make them nice and delicious. And, mm. and so to just set them out on the counter and be like, there's wedges for anyone that wants them. <laughs> like, like, like as if as if anyone besides Julian would eat them. Uh, <laughs> Victor would probably taste one. He would, he would probably have one himself Aww. because it makes him feel more normal that he got to eat one. <laughs> Alistair, you just have access to a package full of fish. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, I, I rolled a oh. dice to see if I would... Uh, be able to smell that there's you know there's yeah. potato wedges on the air. I rolled a one. Oh so I'm drooling on the side of the couch. Right, right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh Victor would have set set the fish aside on like a little platter for, for Alistair as well. Okay. I mean it's already chopped <laughs> not, up in not all it of just it, needed hopefully. to be presented. <laughs> yeah. Not gotta, all no, of not it. all of it. You gotta, not, you like, gotta like you gotta wash a it. reasonable please, cat please size don't need to uh, portion. The then then Victor would have would have Save the rest and and put it in the refrigerator. Alistair does not be, um, need to be a chunker. The ice box. 
Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Joe. He's an absolute Scott- unit. <laughs> <laughs> Skylar's like, I remember food, and then like little globules of like emotional aura from Alistair and Julian just occasionally drift off toward Skylar, <laughs> along with like other random pieces. And I'm pretty sure that like uh, Alistair and Victor maybe are the only ones you can actually see this happening. But um, from the different nori throughout the the hotel, they're just every now and again. There's a little bloop, bloop. And goes into the robot. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Is it kind of like tasteception? You can taste what kind we're of. tasting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I think it's more like a uh, synesthesia, um, <laughs> combined with like really strong empathy. Hmm. Hmm. Intriguing. Um, like. Like like umami, but like in actual sense. <laughs> the yeah, essence kind of. I don't know how much time. <laughs> I don't know how much time is passing, but um, but when the head is done, uh, uh, Victor would sort of portion it out uh, into into some rations for himself as is, well. Is that like, like fried head cheese? <laughs> no, he stuffed it like a turkey. <laughs> oh, you know. okay. Because that way you have leftovers for for a long time. <laughs> I, don't, um, I don't know how you cook a, a head. So. <laughs> I don't either. I just sort of made it up as I went. Um, yeah. And so you got uh, the brains. Yeah, but um, but so Victor would uh would set aside a portion for himself to eat now, mm-hmm. and and you can decide how many rations that makes. Um. Obviously, he wouldn't eat the skull, you know, the teeth, or anything. You know, eat the bones. Don't do that. I'd say you get another five days worth of rations. Cool. All right. Skylar's very intrigued by what's going on. <laughs> you only eat people who are already dead, right? Yeah, yeah. No, I, 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 I it's, it's part of what I am that I have to. Yeah, get, yeah. I no. can't get sustenance from real food. I get it. No no shame here. No shade or judgment. Uh, just curious if you prefer uh, live or dead. Oh no, no! It's 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 almost always dead. Um, <laughs> almost always. Wait, almost, almost always. always? <laughs> <laughs> there there have been a couple times where where something's been attacking me, where where I had the only. The attack I could make on it would be to bite it. Right. And the way my people work is that we can absorb memories and, and, and talents from, from those that we ingest. And so um, I, I've learned how to use that to my advantage when fighting so oh, that I can get cool. that information or... Or, or skills from 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 those people, but I I would never do it to anyone that 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 I cared about or that yeah. wasn't trying to harm me. Definitely was not assuming that. I've haven't been with you folks long, but I definitely picked that up about your character, even though I can't quite taste what you're feeling, um, which is odd. But yeah, this multiverse is just so big and complex and terrifying but also weird and beautiful it's kind of cool um, yeah i just found about found out about that the other day <laughs> <laughs> uh, i burnt two hit dice uh for a short rest on the couch so i could get myself back up to 41 okay did, do, do, would lounging around like this count as a short rest, or would I actually have to go to sleep? No, short rest doesn't require. No, sleep. You don't, you don't definitely, sleep definitely short, short rest. rest. Yeah, it, yeah. Okay, it just cool. requires just, that, that'll you just not doing anything. Get my key points back up for now. Okay, yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> I did the most relaxing thing possible. <laughs> <Cook. Yeah. laughs> okay. for Victor. Yeah, and I, I, I hate to monopolize, but Victor did eat that head. <laughs> don't know if anything important happened, but he ate. He ate um, a piece of that head. You actually had very warm memories of like okay. 
better times. <laughs> That's very ironic. Okay. That you would yeah. Get so like the world before warm memories yeah, stuff. from the head and the then the cooler. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um. And uh, as much as he doesn't want to do it, he also has those two small bite-sized pieces of Gug and Night Gaunt. He'd probably just go ahead and pop those in as an appetizer. <laughs> or not, not, not as, after dinner. As, as a dessert. dessert. <laughs> just as, uh, as a dessert. He, he, he figured some... 50-50 chance the head's mm. going to have something bad. The other things might actually that's, have something bad. May as well enjoy some my poor dinner d'oeuvres. and not ruin it. <laughs> and so which one like, are you Ooh, what first? is that what was that what is that <laughs> what are these creatures um, what's this what's this there's something well, in the, the no air? this is what's already this? cooked so this is just meat that i pulled out it, it probably re- closely uh, resembles some kind of jerky or something not not quite gotcha. but just like some sort of cooked meat that's been dried out um gotcha. but i guess first first eat, eat i'd eat the gug since i took that first and it would be oldest by a couple minutes. <laughs> uh, yes, this is about long. a um, 1 p.m. two days ago's vintage. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> Marvelous. It was, it was a good hour. <laughs> uh, so which one, are you, which one are you eating first? Let's do the gug first. All right, so the gug, uh, you get a memory. Okay. And it's... In that dark, that dark ground floor area in in the sand, um, where you ended up fighting the gug, mm-hmm. there's some like you feel a presence of somebody else being there, and you see wrappings like floating all around in 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 the the gug's uh, vision, and uh, you hear a voice. And you you feel comfort at the same time, and voice is like, "Oh, I will make sure you are fed very soon. So have this snack now, and there'll be more food for you soon." Okay, so the gug was working for it. <laughs> All right, and then. Uh, after like that, you feel I'll... like you're being pet. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, who's a good boy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Despite the good feelings, Victor's not happy about the memory. Um, and then, uh, then he'd pop the night gaunt chunk and <laughs> the finger, no, or right. whatever it would have. Yeah. Claw. <laughs> so you eat that, and those are the those are the the. The doormen, the doormen. Right? yeah, the so, doormen. So it's just the monkeys from Wizard of Oz, crossed with <laughs> Disney's gargoyles. <laughs> yes, crossed with Disney's gargoyles, which is way better. Yeah. Um. So you eat the gaunt, the night gaunt, and you get a vision up on top of a tower, and you're you're overlooking the the city of Darkwell in its current mm. state. Flying uh, pretties. <laughs> it it turns around as and and the rest of the night gaunts that you see on top of the tower turns around and looks towards the center as you see Dalton or as you know him um but he's got his robes are more yeah. like damn it I'm um, GB2 yeah <laughs> like yeah, they're second. more yellow, more more uh, elaborate. Like you got, it, it's very, it looks like a fine cloth, but it's just like been torn because the the wrappings are all poking out of it and coming around. Like he's not even walking. Like the wrappings are just kind of moving, moving him. Ugh. And uh, there's this blood portal or this, like, blood pool in the center of the tower. Like on the stage. Like on the like stage. We, like we oh, saw no, on no, the stage. Oh, no, 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 it's it's like uh, on the ground. There's, like, this blood pool. Well, okay. A pool a pool of blood. All right. Ocean not not a portal. Blood. I didn't mean to say portal, but there's, there's a pool of blood. Okay. Oh, okay. And um, he starts casting something, or he starts, like, chanting something in another language that you don't understand. And 
all of a sudden you see like all these arms and everything start coming up out of uh, out of the blood pool, and you you see them like pulling something up out of the out of the pool, and um, and then all the arms all the arms come down and, and go back into the pool of water, and you see this cloaked figure just standing in the middle of the blood pool, and the memory ends there. Okay. Dalton standing next to the blood pool, waves his arms. Arms come out. Arms, not like like tatters. blood, blood, blood. Arms come out of the pool. Like the blood, like forms into all kinds of arms, and everything is. It's like pulling something through the the blood, the pool. Like it's a portal kind of kind of deal, and pulls it pulls it through, and then all the arms go back down, and just it's just pull of blood again. Blood and, ocean. And it pulled through a cloaked figure. Blood yeah. Ocean. Okay. I'm glad Richie cool. Got it. That's not <laughs> fun. All right. Hey there. Come on down to Jefferson's Fish Market. We got all kinds of tuna and octopi and clams and all kinds of things to support your fishy needs. You know, most items just a, just a gold gold shell. So you you know, call we'll call and we'll we'll wrap up your fish and and and, and get you on your way to uh to that to your old dinners and stuff. Yeah, that's uh it's Jefferson's fish market. Uh, I'm not I'm not Jefferson, but, you know, I work here anyway. All music is written and produced by Marco Mazzi at Violent Highway Studios. Be sure to visit uh, www.microphonesandmonsters.com on Podchaser. And got all the links to rate and review the podcast and... If you could throw us a little gold seashell over on Patreon, we got all kinds of new content coming out. Got the got the session zero of, of what was the beginnings of the campaign. Oh, it's real good. So, well, I'm gonna leave now, and y'all take care. You need any fish? Yeah, you know where to find us. See ya. <laughs>